10 Terrifying Water Catches We start our list with some of the scariest looking fish with the biggest teeth you've ever seen. Piranha? Forget it. The Goliath tigerfish is much more frightening. And yes, they can use those teeth. You're fishing, the water is calm, then suddenly it strikes. This Goliath tigerfish is so big that these two guys can barely get it in the net. We bet you've probably never seen teeth on a fish like the Goliath tigerfish, which can bite big chunks out of other fish and have been known to do the same to people who get too close. Brutal Goliath Tigerfish Here's another big Goliath tigerfish and the guy who caught it is absolutely in love with his prized catch. And with the size of this fish, it's no wonder. Just don't kiss it on the mouth with those giant teeth. Next on our list is what is probably the top apex predator in the world, sharks. With rows of razor-sharp teeth, they are a creature that is best left alone. But some like to catch them for sport. It's certainly dangerous business if you're deliberately fishing for sharks. 13-Foot Shark You never know what you're going to catch at the beach, but these guys ended up catching a 13-foot great hammerhead shark. Things get a little dramatic as one of the guys walks out to help pull the shark in so they can remove the hook and set it free. And for a moment, it looks like he could end up being attacked by the frightened animal. These guys are fishing for Wahoo and instead end up catching an 8-foot, 300-pound bull shark, which is the biggest fish this guy has ever caught. It's amazing that this bull shark didn't fight or resist as much as it could have. In fact, one of the fishermen calls it a lazy bull shark. Kayak Fisher Caught a Shark This guy went kayak fishing and instead caught a 6-foot black tip shark, and it has a nice row of sharp teeth. But the real danger was that in the kayak. The power of the ocean can flip you over into the water with the sharks in just a few seconds. Groupers are the giant fish of the ocean. While not as dangerous as sharks, they do not have many teeth on the end of their jaws, but swallow their prey whole and can grow to enormous proportions. The grouper on the end of this line was so big that it took two guys taking turns while pushing their bodies to the limits to reel in this giant 140-pound monster bass grouper. It's really amazing that the rod was able to withstand the size of this fish without snapping in two. You're never sure what you are going to catch, and this guy had never caught anything larger than 30 pounds. Imagine his surprise when he hooked this giant 200-pound goliath grouper. He is actually surprised that he is still in his kayak because of the size of this fish, which could have capsized his tiny boat. Giant 300-pound Goliath Bass Grouper This guy catches a monster 300-pound Goliath grouper, and you can see how hard this fish is trying to get away. In fact, at one point, it even snaps the fiberglass rod at the base of the pole. That's one giant fish. Catfish can grow to giant proportions and depending on where you are, some can grow to 10 feet long and weigh over 600 pounds. What a surprise these guys got when the fish they were reeling in turned out to be a monster 8.5 foot long 250 pound catfish. This monster fish is so big that it can be barely pulled into the boat. The biggest surprise when reeling in a fish is seeing it when you pull it to the surface. And this guy is really surprised when he lands a record 265-pound monster catfish. The Arapaima lives in the streams and rivers in South America and is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, which can reach lengths of more than 10 feet and weigh upward of 400 pounds. The Amazon River is famous for having piranhas, but there are other monster fish quietly lurking under the water, such as this Arapaima which is about 5 feet long and probably weighs 250 pounds easily. And as you can see, it doesn't like the idea of being caught at all. This next catch is a massive river monster Arapaima, and it's as powerful as it looks as it fights to escape. It's so big that it takes two grown men to lift it from the water. Looking to be about 6 feet long and 200 to 250 pounds, you can see the power of this animal as it fights to escape when being pulled from the water. And this guy has caught more than one of these giant river monsters. Stingrays with their wide flat bodies may not look like fish, but they are. In fact, they are related to sharks because their bodies are supported by cartilage instead of bones. And they can be as dangerous as sharks, sometimes having a venomous spine in the end of their tails. This crew fought this giant stingray for an hour and a half, and they knew it was a tough catch, 
but they didn't know it would be an absolutely massive record 13 by 6 foot, 530 pound stingray. Sailfish get their name from the dorsal fin which often stretches the entire length of their back. Generally, sailfish do not grow to more than 3 meters or 9.8 feet in length and rarely weigh over 90 kilograms or 200 pounds. They have a long spear called a bill that can be very dangerous and they use this to injure their prey to slow them down. These fishermen get a surprise while trying to catch barracuda and instead land a giant sailfish which looks to be about 5 feet long and likely weighs 150 pounds. It's a real surprise that this guy was actually able to pull this big sailfish into the boat, but he did and it's a real beauty. This fish looks to be about 5 feet long and it probably weighs around 125 pounds. These guys caught a nice big sailfish that was leaping out of the water trying to escape. After a bit of a fight, they end up bringing it in and what a beautiful sailfish it is. The whale shark holds many records for sheer size in the animal kingdom, most notably being by far the largest living non-mammalian vertebrae. These local fishermen have caught a baby whale shark and seem pretty proud of themselves when they shouldn't. However, most of them blame their lack of education for their behavior. Nonetheless, the baby whale shark is huge and a Russian scuba diver has to bribe the people for 1 million rupees or 75 US dollars to get it back into the water where it belongs. It's probably pretty rare to catch a snake when you're fishing, but that is exactly what happened to this guy. It's uncertain how the snake got itself caught on the hook. It's uncertain what kind of snake it was, but river snakes aren't that uncommon. However, catching one on the end of a hook is. Hey, are you a science geek? Then you probably know what happens at the edge of universe, or what could happen if our sun vanished. Is it possible that people could live on the moon? Are we really alone in the universe? If you're curious about the answers to these questions, we're exploring them here. 